Well, uh, well, the macula hole, let me just discuss um, that initially, is that the eye, as we all know, is often uh, described as like a camera. Uh, and the film inside the camera is called the retina. So it's a very thin um, uh, layer of light-sensitive cells. And the very center of it is called the macula. So it's an extremely important part uh, of, of the system for vision. Uh, the macula deals with very complex uh, eye tasks such as reading, color perception, and quite complex tasks so it's for everyday life. And a macula hole develops in some patients where you have a small hole in the very center of the macula. And this leads to quite significant profound visual loss, especially central visual loss. And one of the other major issues is that the vision can be significantly distorted. So what you're looking at looks very strange um, so it can seriously impact uh, a patient's uh, uh, quality of life. The, the treatment for macula hole is with an eye operation called a vitrectomy. A vitrectomy is a very routinely, commonly uh, performed operation. Uh, it's often done mostly with local anesthesia, with some sedation to relax uh, the patient. And you make some micro incisions in the eye, remove the jelly, and then you peel some tissue off the around the macula hole and fill the eye with a short acting gas bubble. The good news is that for macula hole surgery and for patients, the success rates can be very high. So it can be over 90%, even 95%. Uh, so it's very important that patients with macula hole seek um, a specialist review as soon as possible, um, because after diagnosis uh, and establishing what the problem is, uh, macula hole can continue to get bigger over time leading to further visual loss. Uh, surgery is very successful. The risks are very small. Risks are very similar to cataract surgery. In fact, some of the risks are lower than cataract surgery. So just to reassure patients that vitrectomy surgery for macula hole is a very commonly carried out operation. It's probably our top five operations carried out um, in, in, in my eye institution in Murfields. Patients require macula hole surgery because they have uh, observed that their vision uh, is, is missing in the central part of the vision. Uh, that vision itself uh, can also be visible, but very distorted. And if you imagine doing daily things like especially reading, um, it's very, very difficult to read, uh, see people's faces. Um, and it can be very alarming to suddenly have lost the central, very important part of vision. Uh, so these patients come in for an eye scan, which shows the diagnosis. And then we can talk about uh, the ins and outs of, of vitrectomy surgery for macular hole. So th th the main risks of um, macular surgery, that is vitrectomy surgery, like any eye surgery, they're very rare complications. Uh, so these complications are around one in 2000, such as infection, uh, bleeding and losing your vision. However, real complications are unlikely to happen. The more common thing that can happen is you can develop something called a cataract, uh, where the natural lens in the eye become cloudy. However, uh, during the consultation, if, if, if after a certain age, and if cataract is already present, the cataract surgery can be done at the same time as the macular hole vitrectomy surgery. So this gives patients much faster rehabilitation after surgery. It gives them the vision much uh, back much faster. Um, so generally, um, I would say that the risks are, are low, um, and this is a very commonly carried out operation. The sort of results that patients can expect is that it all depends on the size of the macula. The macula comes in different sizes, small, medium, and large, and very large. The majority of macula holes are medium to large, and the success rate is very high, between 85 and 90 percent, and can be higher. So that means that the hole can be successfully closed in a high number of patients. So that will stop the vision from getting worse, will, pr will promote the visual recovery. So patients can generally improve their vision after macular surgery, but the vision itself can take up to a year uh, to show the final improvement because after you close the macular hole, it's not like a jigsaw puzzle where you click everything together and the vision instantly improves a bit like cataract surgery. Once the macula hole closes, the, the inside of the macula, all the cells need to rewire. And that can take a long time. So month on month, 
after the operation, up to a year, patients can expect the vision to slowly further improve. And then the distortion symptoms can also gradually fade. Although not completely, but the majority of the symptoms can fade up to a year later.